forward head. But right. Taking Celtic. Yeah, third manager, like McDonald's calf injury, keeps him out of the side. It's another wise and usual lines. And wearing a number six is 19-year-old Craig Levine playing his third Premier League game after his transfer from Cowden Beach. Celtic on that handle without Tommy Burns, Jim Melrose and Brian Whittaker out through suspension. So their first team pool is stretched to the limits. That gives this young man, John Cahoon, his opportunity to make his debut for the Celtic first team after his £60,000 signing from Sterling Albert. Roddy McDonald this time with the tackle. McDonald on McGarvey. McGarvey trying to find room to get the ball across the face of the Hearts goal. That's a great turn. Queuing up in the middle. And Graham Sinclair, I think, penalised for a spot of pushing as he came in in support of Brian McClare. But some excellent play out there on the goal line from Frank McGarvey. Closely marked Barry McDonald, turning and twisting, eventually taking the unorthodox route towards the byline and across, causing problems to the Hearts defence. It's beyond Levine. Bones header collected by Donald Park. Good effort from Park, well taken by Bonner. Now Park trying hard to add to his six Hearts goals this season. Now Gary Mackay. Good play from the youngster. Jordan playing it against the referee, a chance for Celtic. And great goalkeeping from Henry Smith. Well, the great save from Henry Smith. You may remember his magnificent performance against Celtic at Celtic Park. John Robertson taking on Roy Aiken and the big defender playing it back. But that was a great opportunity for Celtic at the other end. The ball played inside by Sandy Jordan, coming off the referee Hugh Alexander, breaking for Frank McGarvey. He got to the ball in front of Henry Smith, but the keeper kept his eye on the ball to touch it away to safety. There's one in the cloud. And Celtic deriving benefit from... McLeod playing on the left side of midfield with John Cahoon operating wide on the right, McGarvey and McClure through the middle. Just bombing for Hearts. And here a chance again for McGarvey. Slightness among the Hearts players. Jordan doing well to slow things down. And Mackay thumping the ball away. But once again, Hearts living very dangerously indeed. Catalog of errors there, putting a ball into the box. The very lead to escape to the corner. Smith in trouble, misjudging it. Still, the ball will not run for Celtic. Roy Aiken shot going over the top. But Henry Smith and Walter Kidd getting into a fankle for the corner kick in the first instance. Then the break of the ball falling for Roy Aiken, who was falling back as he shot for goal. this time by Tom McAdam on Craig Levine Levine pushing well forward for these balls that are defence from Hearts, using his height to trouble the Celtic defence now Roddy McDonald going up also Jordan's free kick target is McDonald here's Roddy McDonald just over the top and a good effort from Roddy McDonald his height originally posing a problem to the free kick from Sandy Jordan. Ball breaking untidily from Tom McAdam. Craig Levine did well to force it back to McDonald. And the shot was always rising too quickly. McKay using Jordan as a decoy. And that would have been a great goal from Craig Levine. Good move that from Hart. Levine coming very close to his first goal for Hart. Testing the heart of the Hearts defence. The third beaten by McDonald. 
with Paul McStay. Now Cahoon. A very easy one that for Henry Smith. Walter Kidd. Child coming in behind Jimmy Bourne. Kidd again with Bowman on the right. Judgment from Robertson. Brought down by Roy Aiken. The referee giving nothing to Hearts for that. And Robertson obviously feels that he was impeded. The throw in beating Tom McAdam, allowing Robertson to turn, taking on Roy Aiken. And the appeals for a penalty kick waved aside. Here's Bowman. If they allow him play to go on, McGarvey appeared to bump Bowman off the ball. It's Paul McStay making room for Cahoon on the right. So John Cahoon taking on Cowie. Acrobatic effort from Brian McClear. No luck that time for the Celtic striker. this time Sinclair racing into the box to join McClear there's McClear now Sinclair and McClear forces the ball in for the opening goal well questions being asked in the Hearts defence it looked as though they'd got the ball clear but McClear made it in the end it's Clear again forcing the ball wide to the right this time for McGarvey Cross coming in, McClear having the time to try to chest the ball down. Sinclair trying to throw it in. It broke from McClear, but still the Hearts defence was standing looking on. Mm, the first time pass forward. McClear screening it for next day. There's McGarvey. Ooh, that wasn't far away from Frank McGarvey. Dipping and swerving as it came in towards Henry Smith. But it didn't dip or swerve quickly enough for the Celtic liking. Here's Walter Kidd. Bowman. The crowd battling for it with Bone. Now Bowman. Mackay. Trying a one-two with Bone, but now it's with Paul McStay, and that split the Hearts defence. Great chance for Celtic. Chance is still on. Brian McClear. And it's cleared eventually for the corner kick. Well, that was all down to one superb pass from Paul McStay. Winning possession deep inside his own half. Splitting the Hearts defence for Brian McClear. Smith advancing, going down at the feet of McClear. McClear got the break of the ball. But he still couldn't force the ball home. Here's McLeod now with room to work on the left for Celtic. Cahoon and McGarvey are forwards. So is McClear. McLeod going himself. And Henry Smith may well have had that covered, but it was a good effort from Mother McLeod. The Hearts again having a lot of the possession in midfield. Just needing some spark of inspiration up front to them right back into this match they certainly have shown a lot of ability coming from midfield without being able to make Celtic suffer in the last third of the field here's Martin McLeod slipping to give Bowman the chance to play it forward Roy Aiken in the way good Paul McStay McGarvey's gone to the left he's got McClear in the middle Cahoon also arriving late in the box. It's Cahoon. Well, that's good play. Oh, brilliantly done by the youngster. And missing that far post by about a foot. Well, watch this for confidence and for class. The cross, a long, deep one from Frank McGarvey. Cahoon taking it in the chest. 
beating Curry in the one movement and the shot just going wide of the post. So there's Jim Dobbin now coming on to replace Rodan McLeod in midfield for Celtic. Waving his defenders upfield. Curry header. Here's Gary Mackay. He's had a good match in midfield for Hearts. That's a rare loose pass from him in midfield. Sandy Jock. McDonald. Looking for Jimmy Bone. He was beaten by Reed. Good pass from next day. The Celtic players are on side. The chance for Brian McClear and Henry Smith again doing well. Well, the whole Hearts team waiting for the offside flag, which didn't come as that ball came through to McClear. He tried to steer the ball wide of Smith, and the goalkeeper again did well. The Celtic now building up some pressure on this Hearts defence. Anxious to keep the play in that area of the field. There's McStay. Looking for the openings ahead. There aren't too many because the Hearts men are back in numbers. Forced to use Reed on the left. Free kick given for the late challenge on Mark Reed. Celtic wanted to take it quickly, but they didn't do so from the right spot. Garvey going wide again to take the pass from McStay. Still McGarvey in possession, across, a great chance now for Celtic, and young Jim Dobbin makes it 2-0 to Celtic, 18 minutes into the second half, Jim Dobbin's second first team goal, and that must go down to an error on the part of Henry Smith. Well, McGarvey doing all the hard work out on the left, trying to create room to play the cross in, Thinking and turning, eventually sending it in. It was an easy ball for Henry Smith, but I'm sure he would have expected to hold it cleanly. And Jim Dobbin there to pick up the loose ball and make it 2-0 to Celtic. So a substitution now for Hearts. Willie Johnston coming on, Donald Park going off. McLear allowing McGrain to come forward. Very well tackled by Curry. Good running from Craig Levine. Oh, excellent play by the youngster. This needs a good cross. And Bonner fingertipping that to safety. But there was some excellent play there by Craig Levine, showing his strength in the tackle, determination, then a turn of pace to get the ball away towards the dead ball line. The cross is a good one, swerving away from Bonner, and the keeper did well. They're doing well, holding off the first challenge, but not able to hold off George Curry. Head flick from Bone going straight to McAdam. There's McGarvey. Now Cahoon. Can he get the shot on? McClear, flag is up for offside against McGarvey. Well, once again, John Cahoon finding good position on the left for Celtic. Looking for Robertson. Here's Willie Johnston. Trying to 
find Robertson again, that congested area at the edge of the box. Willie Johnson returned past to Bowman. And a good piece of defending by Mark Reid. Kept goal side, blocked the cross. So Bowman will leave the corner kick to Willie Johnston. And Donald up once again. Swinger from Johnson, there's John Robertson! Excellent header, Hearts are back in the match. 15 and a half minutes of the match left. Hearts get the goal from perhaps the smallest player on the team. Well, you can see Willie Johnson at the corner kick, waving Robertson towards him, towards the near post area. Then the in swing corner kick right to the head of Robertson, who obliged with his positioning, and then that powerful header, leaving Bonner with no chance at all. The tie now to Cowie. A little bit of extra spring in these parts. Legs and Cowie shot, brilliantly saved by Pat Bonner. Well, it's clear now that Hearts are going all out for a grandstand finish. Full of determination to save the match. Curry coming inside, letting fly with that powerful right foot shot which Bonner turned behind. So Johnson caught a kick this time towards the far post. Bonner under pressure. And he did very well indeed, the big keeper. Under the most intense pressure from John Robertson. That's a ball for Cahoon to chase with Kidd in close attendance. Lacks nothing in determination, young Cahoon. With Paul McStay. That was a splendid tackle from Cowie. Well judged and timed. Now Danny McGrain. Still using McStay behind. Willie Johnston coming in late on McGrain. So Johnston now protesting to the referee. That's his first foul. Certainly with a reckless one though, late on McGrain after he'd played the ball towards McStay. McGrain's free kick. Can the Garvey turn? Yes, he can. And the ball going across the face of the goal, but there were no takers for Celtic. They're teeing it up for McStay and the shot well anticipated by Smith. McGrain. Roy Aiken has to be accurate. John McAdam. Curry Stearns pulling for McStay. Very strong on the ball for McStay. Trying to get away now from Jordan. The free kick is given against McStay for pushing. I think the Celtic man thought that he might have got something for obstruction on the part of Jordan. But it's a hot free kick. Ten minutes left. Jordan pushing hearts on. And Jimmy Bone. Now Mackay. Roy Aiken Stearns. Done well, Ryan McClear, but McGarvey was offside. Instructions coming from the dugout from Alec McDonald. Bone being held by McAdam. Johnston looking for Levine at the far side of the box. Cross is too powerful. Here's Graham Sinclair. Good play from Cahoon. Impeded, but he still got away with it. And the referee intelligent allowing play to go on. Chance for McClare. And Idle said it all right. Ryan McClare's second, Celtic's third, and surely now the match is safe for Celtic. Well, McClare got the glory in the end, but that is a goal which really belongs every bit as much to John Cahoon. And just look at the quality of this run on the left. Showing great close control, a lot of courage, withstanding a couple of hefty challenges, one of which was certainly a foul. Coming forward then, laying it inside to McClare, who measured that shot to leave Smith helpless. Yes.